And we have returned. Welcome back to the stream, everybody. That right there was Frightened City by the Shadows. And, um, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna try to finish up Costume Quest 2. I don't think I've got a whole lot of it left. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I was planning on streaming earlier in the day, but I actually did something else. I, um... Okay, so if you've been around for a while, you know that, um... I've been trying to get a new video card for quite some time. I think it's been about two or three years at this point, but for various reasons, I, like a lot of other people, have not been able to find one. On a whim, I looked up to see if there were any in the city that would suit my needs, and sure enough, lo and behold, I found this at the local Best Buy. <laughs> so I have a new video card. However, much like the last time I got a video card, I brought it home. I attempted to install it in the computer and realized that the power supply is not good enough for this. So I had to order a power supply, which is hopefully going to be coming in at the end of the month. So, you know, I have the video cards. I can't use it yet, but it's nice. It's nice that I actually have one. And that means I shouldn't need to upgrade after, well, after I get this power supply. I'm probably not going to have to upgrade any part of this computer now for... I don't know, a long time, probably another six or seven years, if that. Granted, I know there's more top-of-the-line stuff that's already been released ahead of that thing. But, you know, I'm not the type of person that needs to have this thing able to launch a nuke or something, you know? I don't need my computer to somehow power the nation's electrical grid. As long as I can use it for, mo as long as it can run like most video games and stream, I'm, that's all I need it for. The thing I find really funny is, honestly, I could probably get away with the video card I have in there for most things. It's just that it's difficult to stream certain games now, what with graphical intensity and stuff. Which is hilarious, because that video card is over seven years old. <laughs> Man, the 970s. Great card, great card. One moment. In honor of the spooky season, my PS4 is possessed, so it just started beeping at me. I really need to take that thing apart and clean it, I think. The warranty is long since up on it, so I can do that without worrying, you know, about voiding the warranty, I guess. It's doing this weird thing where every now and then the eject will just keep running, so it'll spit a disc out and you can just hear it keep worrying and worrying and worrying. And I don't know why it's doing it, because it doesn't always do it. Like sometimes I can use the PS4 and it's perfectly fine, other times it'll just keep doing that over and over again. And the really screwy thing is that it seems to be operating independently of the machine's power. Well, I mean, not independently, but like... It just did it then, but the PS4 is not even on. The only way to get it to stop doing it in that instance is to actually remove it from the power. Oh, yeah, weird. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling about stuff like that. Let's actually play some costume quests, see if we can finish this. Pretty close to the end, I, th I think. Oh, one other thing, though, I should mention is that out of the blue, um... The final chapter of Faith, the incredibly creepy um, retro-style game I've played the past couple of Halloweens, that came out today, apparently. So I get the feeling that might be, as is tradition, the last thing I stream for Halloween. So probably the the Sunday before the 30, 31st is a Monday this year. I doubt I'm going to be streaming then. But I'd say the Sunday prior to that, I feel like we're going to play Faith Chapter 3. And I'm going to have nightmares for a week, because that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Anyway, costume quest two. Let's let's begin. I believe last I left off, um, I was going back in time again to go find Dr. White as a child. I believe we need to kidnap him to open up his warehouse in the future or something like that.
You know, the funny thing that you know, uh, about the whole video card thing is even if I did manage to install it today, none of the games I plan on streaming really require it. Because I seriously doubt it's going to make too much of a difference for this. Oh shoot, am I only missing a single costume? Yeah. Good way to tell I'm nearly finished the game. Don't talk to me unless you have a plan to get rid of gold fingers over there. This painted statue thing would have so much competition. Leave me alone, I need my concentration if I'm going to take down the platinum kid. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen another act. Got any ideas? Let's see if this opens up any new dialogue option. Both of you statues are pretty good performers, but you're cutting into each other's business. Why don't you join forces? You'll have double the appeal and no competition! Hmm, that's not a bad idea, really. That's not really um, a living statue thing, but they can break dance, that's cool. Look at that fancy footwork! I wish I could move like that. These kids are something else! I give them all my coins! Look at them go! And now all I'm thinking of is just this is just a combination of two different Yakuza Zero sub stories. <laughs> That's what this is. Living statue, break dancers. Oh, hello, Baked. Welcome back to the stream. Hopefully, you're having a lovely day. You've been making bank since I joined up with Silverado. Word to your mother. Word to your mother. Okay. Goldie is funky fresh. People love our moves. We're gonna be rich. I'm just gonna hide behind the stereo and watch. I'm still missing a secret here, apparently. And there. I don't know where the secret here could possibly be, though. There must be something I can do. With a costume I didn't have when I was here first. Or maybe I'm just not observant enough. Who knows? Like I said, though, I don't think I'm going to be too concerned about um, dealing with all the secrets in this game. Just finishing it's going to be fun enough for me. If I can get all the costumes. Okay, I need the uh, green dye for the ghost upgrade. Which means I need a hell of a lot more candy. Hell of a lot more, I'm actually pretty close. See if I can smack enough things in the environment, get enough candy to get that. If I get enough delicious dumpster candy. There's so much dumpster candy. Definitely have enough now. I also admire this kid's dedication to his craft. Nobody's even watching. I now only have five pieces of candy. What a terrible sequence of events this is. What now? Knock on the door. And have his frightening mother chew us out again. See? Waste of time. 
giving up already. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Let's look for clues. We can just keep knocking on that one door. It's tough to see anything here. We need more light. Meaning, I need to become a wizard. What is this goop? Why is our young dentist friend leaking? And what is he leaking? Honestly, I'm too afraid to know the answer to that question. Slip me the candy, I slip you the creepy, creepy treats cards. What are you buying? Okay, I guess he's not up here. Oh, I can't go back down the way I came up. I guess I just need to do it like this. There was an Evil 4 reference just from Monsi. Apparently they they officially released a... Oh, he's over there. Alright. Um, apparently they officially released a trailer for... Um... Who's it? Resident Evil 4. The Resident Evil 4 remake. That's what I was trying to say. It looks pretty good. I mean, I don't know. I, I really liked Resident Evil 4 anyway, so I have no idea. Yeah, sometimes a remake can go sideways. Like, the Resident Evil 2 remake was great. I love that. I haven't played the Resident Evil 3 remake yet, but apparently it's not as good. To say the least. One thing I'm kind of upset about in the Resident Evil 4 remake is in some of the videos and stuff they've shown of it, it seems like that one thing with the... I don't know if you remember. There's a section in Resident Evil 4 where you come across a wolf caught in a uh, bear trap. And you can let the thing loose, or you can leave it there. If you leave it there, either it dies or you like you never see it again. If you let it loose, it actually helps you in a boss fight shortly after that. And I think it pops up again a couple of times throughout the course of the game. It seems like in the remake, the thing is already dead when you get to it, so they take that option off the table in the first place. And I don't know how I feel about that. That, that's that's just kind of, I don't know, I, I like that whole thing with the wolf in the original. Also from what I was listening to in the, uh, in the trailer, Ada's voice just sounds weird to me, I don't know why. I don't... Yeah, hey, it's that dog! Yeah, exactly! Leon says of this wolf that he rescued. Laurel, what are you doing up here? Okay, so I snatched someone else's candy, but my mom won't let me trick-or-treat. What am I supposed to do? And she keeps making me brush my teeth for no reason. Well, I mean, you kind of need to brush your teeth, but, you know. Who wants to live in a world without candy? Or with all that dental hygiene? It's funny you say that. Yeah, how would you like to put an end to all of that? I'm not doing anything mean to my mom, if that's what you mean. But no, no, we just need your help with something. But I get to wear costumes like you guys? Sure, you can wear a costume. We just need your eyes on something. Give us your eyes! Child, you must give us your ocular orbs. Say no more, I'm coming with you guys and that's all there is to it. Oh my god, we have the enemy. Wow, rad costume! How do I look? That costume looks pretty good on you, actually. Trick or treat! Haha, <laughs> yes! Okay, okay, let's get back. Let's give you a little something better than that, though. What do you say about Treehouse? I don't know. 
No, it's not your tree house, you'll see. Oh, okay. It's a secret? Okay, I'll play along. This is fun. Nougat nuggets. Okay, so we got strong against magic. Also strong against magic. It seems like there's a lot of costumes that are strong against magic for some reason. <laughs> the green ghost. Okay, rather than a hot dog, let's make him, uh... I-I like how Enlightened Jefferson is the only one that's strong against tech for some reason. Let's make him a wizard. Let's get stuck on her chair. Okay, that's all the secrets there. I'm still missing a secret down there, though, so let's go have a look. I'll have one last little go around to see if I can find all the secrets. again, I don't think I've got a whole lot of this game left. I must be missing something somewhere. Okay, I've already been here. I don't think I'll worry too much about it, though, all the same. All I'm probably going to be missing is, like, a creepy treat card or something. Nothing big. Have that child and the gators that love his cards. Maybe there's something new down this way? Something that was not here before? Hello, Rolls. Welcome back to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Hopefully you're going to have a lovely pizza. Just had some pizza myself recently. It was leftover pizza, but I mean, you know, pizza's like one of the best leftover foods, right? And you know what? I don't think I'm going to bother searching around for the secret too much. We need to get back to the future. You know, like that movie. Time Cop. Wait. Oh, 
Oh wait, no, I got I got a fancy candy corn. Like like weird looking candy corn from that kid, and apparently I can plant it. Into the time hole. Welcome to the future! Okay, I guess this is just a tree that I can get repeated candy from. That's good to know. To the dental compound. Let's have this kid use his peepers for good. What does he do? Trick or treat? Oh my, your costume is incredible. Here is some candy. Oh goody, I got a peanut butter bomb. <laughs> this is some weird obsessive behavior. Hey Oral, your costume is ridiculously awesome. Thanks! Oh, this isn't so bad, you're- Hey, Oral, your costume is ridiculous. <laughs> hey, Oral, your costume is ridiculous. <laughs> that look of rage. Hey, Oral, your costume is ridiculous. <laughs> Shut up! And then he skip. Trick or treat! Your costume is so cute. Take this. What the? This man's teeth. What do I pay you bird brains for? This is all wrong! Fix these robots at once or I'll send you back to Repugia. Be in my mansion. We know when it's ready. <laughs> what a pathetic nutcase. Who is that guy? That's you, Oral. That's your future self. <laughs> I like how his pupils just shrank. So that was me I saw steal that doll from those witches? How did I get so crazy? You weren't allowed to trick or you weren't allowed to trick or treat, Oral. That would make anyone crazy. I don't want to be crazy. How can I fix it? That doll you took is the talisman that keeps the monsters out of our world. We need to sneak into your house to get it back. If that's what it takes, then let's do it. I wish I was like you, Oral, plywood child. You are so cool, Oral! Okay, that's probably... yeah, that leads back out there. I like how this appears to just basically be the old Auburn Pines, um, place. Trick or treat! That is the best costume I have ever seen. At least we still get to trick or treat and actually get some candy, it seems. I got a pot costume piece, a servo. Interesting. You are the best trick or treater I have seen all night. No violence.
This is some bizarre, obsessive behavior from an evil overlord. Wow, great costume. You win Halloween, Oral. Oral, that costume is better by, than mine by many orders of magnitude. You're the best trick or treater I've seen all night. This tells me I have two costumes left, though. There's ca uh, there, there's candy just scattered everywhere, you know, just like in real life. Who doesn't want to eat floor candy? You are a cutie, Oral White DDS. What? Mildly distressing, that. Okay, I should probably switch over to someone who is strong against uh, magic, though, come to think of it, seeing as how... If we're dealing with the bird men, they're mostly either magicians or engineer dudes. Should have had uh, her attack the dude in the center. Forgot about that. Oh well. Dude in the center now. Ah! Drat. Oh, I get a dash of splash. It does splash damage. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. Here we are. Oops. Bring that up. Probably should have had her heal someone, maybe herself. But here we are. Well, I don't know how much I'm going to need the uh, candy anymore. I suppose I could use that, but there is a fountain just over here. May as well make use of it. Halloween can start now that you are here, Oral. Only one candy serving, serving remaining. Please refill. Weird that there would be a rainbow on Halloween night, but okay. I'm not going to question Oral's fantasy land. Error code then. Please try installing the latest firmware. Okay. Got a lot of problems here. Oh, wires. Woof, earth, bark. This neighborhood is lucky to have someone so cool in this. This is what happens when you don't outgrow your childhood obsessions, I guess. I wish you were my child, Oral White DDS. Also got a lot of mummy issues, I think. Speaking of... Well, 
Plywood Mom. I'm so proud of you, Oral. You are a mommy's little sweetie. So she has a cake. Something his real mother would probably equate to the devil. Dentistry is the coolest. He's going to get such a beating. How did you get to be so cruel, Oral? Years of dental school. This is error. Playline corrupted. Please reboot, child. Just hate it when you have to reboot your children. Looks like a cat, but he smells like a dog. I would puppy cat. Error. Like how you can just abuse the plywood children for no reason. You are rad, Oral. That is a no-brainer. Welcome back, rules. I've just been beating up creepy plywood cutouts. And these robots. Personal floss robot schematics. Okay. Let's do a little sneaky sneak. Or not. Ashley! Did you finish building that personal floss robot for Overlord White yet? Ichabod. Oh, I thought we were supposed to fix the trick-or-treat robots now. Look, I gotta deliver a personal floss robot to Dr. White's house before I go home. Don't make me work overtime again. <clears throat> I don't have a floss robot ready and I'm not changing gears. Just put any stupid robot in the crate. I'll take responsibility. Go find your own robot. I'm not getting fired. Hey, can I... not attack them? How about that robot you're working on? That one's fine. Stop randomizing me. You're breaking me out of my zone. I have to get in the crate. That's how I get to his house. I understand. Personal floss robot costume, guys. Let's get in that crate. Get this over with. I am robot.
A personal floss robot disguise, size for a shipping container. Focus, subterfuge. Combat special, not applicable. Exploration and ability disguise, where I got up Dr. White's secret trick or treat warehouse. In the crate we go. Dude, you finished Overlord White's floss robot. I did? I gotta get this to Overlord White's house right away. I got your personal floss robot. I'm in my bedroom. I'll try it out in a bit. Need to get measurements for my... And I could... Sure thing, Overlord White. Dr. White's inner sanctum. Oh my god, his bed is candy corn themed. He's got a little drawing of his house. He has a dish full of candy. Also, are those dentures or a retainer or something? We got the talisman, guys! Now what? Then we get out of here before Dr. White gets back. And then I start flying, apparently. Um, where do I go? Where, where am I going? I, I, I have much confusion. Am I just stuck in here? Does this bedroom not have a door? Maybe we just hide back in the crate? I'm only now noticing the little um, frame candy corn. It's kind of cool too, I guess. Must be missing something. I can't tell what, but I must be. Oh, wait, maybe. There we go. That's what it is. That makes sense. Let's just leave this place. Uh oh. I need to get into combat with the floss robot, though. I need to see what the deal is. Although at this point, I think if I get into combat, I'm probably going to be fighting him, so maybe I shouldn't. Now uh, let's have him be... Jackal God, yeah. Wait, no. I guess I'll be the Jackal God. He can be Jefferson.
giant robot costume. <laughs> oh, 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 that was my ear. Sorry, Overlord White. This is the first time we've tried to turn on your combat suit with you in it. Not used to your ear being there. Touch my ear again and you'll get to be my practice dummy. Now hurry up and calibrate this thing. I need to be ready in case those kids come snooping around for my talisman. Uh-oh. What's this? What are you doing? How did you get that? <laughs> I see. Nice trick. Is this blast from the past supposed to shake me up? You think that if I try to stop you, it'll mess up my timeline and blink me out of here? Ha! Huh. Well, I don't need to lay a finger on you. I know what this boy wants. He's me. Look at me, Oral. This is your future. Everything you've ever dreamed of. A giant robot suit makes your head look real tiny. Weird crow men as scientist slaves. You'll be the ruler of this city one day, and you can have candy anytime you want. See? Wow. Anytime I want? All you have to do is follow what is in your heart. <laughs> so give me back that talisman and go live your dream. Don't listen to him, Oral. He's crazy. You don't want to be crazy, remember? Who do you think you are, brat? Can you not see that I am 20 feet tall and can stomp you into a pancake on a whim? Who are you going to take advice from, Oral? Some kids you've known for a short time? Or yourself? Uh... Uh... Sorry, Oral. We don't have time for this. We've got a timeline to fix. See, Oral? They are not to be trusted. Help me put an end to this, and you too can grow up to have a giant robot suit and a chin you can use as a can opener. That's a really distressing laugh from this man. These children don't know you like I do, Oral. They don't know our potential. I mean, look at me. Look at this power. Unlimited power. Oh no, dental picks. Ha <laughs> ha These children are going to pay for violating my rules. Our rules. Wow, I'm not doing a lot of damage to him at all. Maybe I should attack the picks instead. Maybe I should use the Doom Stick. Doom! There's your chance, Oral. Show these kids who's boss. Give me the talisman. But he's me. I'm confused. Mm. Ow! That's expensive technology! You pipsqueaks are gonna pay for that. You would dare hit me? See, so you've made your choice to be a sniveling brat like them. Choices have consequences. This new combat suit. I'm simply beaming. I've just broken two of your weapons. Oh, that's distressing. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's the scariest thing I've seen in this game.
the pun was pretty terrifying too. Mm, I think I'll save up the gift of life for the next round. Because I imagine whatever he's going to hit me with is probably going to hurt. Blinding smile. Great. <laughs> no, he's gonna blast one for me. Okay, gift of life. Probably on Ren. Now let's use a creepy tree card. I don't see the uh, Fudge Crystals one is really the only useful one currently. Although I use it for the most useless one, because that costume already has splash attack damage anyway. So, oh well. <laughs> Do a little jig, get the number. Plaque attack! Distressing. Oh wait, no, I think the splash attack damage thing works for all heroes. Pretty sure. Hit him with the doomstick! Why my skin is bright yellow now, but they're rare. Suddenly I've turned into a Simpsons character. Okay, he's strong until... I need to destroy his weapons before... Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Splash damage thing will help though. I just like how I can't apparently um block those attacks though. That's that's distressing. Give yourself a declaration of destruction. <laughs> He's got glasses on a little chain. It's, it's great. Still creepy. Um, okay, Reynolds should heal himself because if he goes down, I've lost my healing capabilities. If Oral goes down, however, then we've created the time paradox. How can Dr. Oral kill his younger self if he died when he was a kid because he was killed by his older self? This is why time travel is wonky. Okay, that, that's not bad. Could've been worse. Happy about that. Yeah, 
Okay, I guess I've destroyed his other weapons and he's just gonna keep doing this. Which is fine. I'm cool with that. I mean, his younger self might not survive the next barrage, but... The siblings will. And honestly, he's not too far off from finish himself. Still good. And Reynolds should be able to heal him up in the next turn. Nice. Although honestly, I think he's going to finish himself off here now. What a way to end it. He reads some paper and malfunctions. <laughs> You're done, Dr. White. This is going back to its rightful owners, those witches in the swamp. Give that. Give me that. It's mine. Keep away! It's funny, this world you made where everyone was supposed to have white teeth? It's rotten. The lesson here is never brush your teeth. Oral hygiene is a lie. It leads to dystopias. Tell me about it. Let's get the candy back to the people. No! Oh, come back here with that! My beautiful utopia will be ruined! How did I ever get to be so pathetic? That face. I'm pathetic. What do you think that makes you? You should probably still wear that. <laughs> A new man! I knew we were right to put our trust in you. I don't know how we'll ever thank you guys. You saved Halloween. Hey, where are the adult versions of us? Oh, I'm sorry, you both died of a tragic candy trick-or-treating accident years ago. Um, controller? There we go. You can start by taking all my licorice when we get back to the past. Better make sure my mom and dad still get married, you guys. <laughs> well, none of that can happen until we restore the timeline. Don't worry, I can't wait to fix everything I broke. Things are gonna be different this time. Or at least we get to keep some of our awesome new costumes. weird this is. What? <laughs> Why is there a Repugia Elder here? Playable epilogue? on his face. Hey, Mom! Hey! Oral here was just telling us what good kids you are. You made your father and I very proud. We love you very much. Mom! What, dear? It's Halloween! Don't get all mushy! Oh, right. I hate you both. I wish you were never born. Leave me. Hey, Dad! There you are. Can you believe the King of the Grovens is here in our neighborhood? Was that possible? 
What do you mean? We've been talking about this non-stop. About how Dr. White has been laying the groundwork for this for years. And how the mayor finally signed off on us. Oh yeah, I remember. So do you want me to introduce you to the Grubbin King? No thanks, we've met. You have? Hmm, have I seen that one before? Feeling okay, Ronald. I was just showing my gratitude to Dr. White for getting you, your mayor to sign the Halloween Treaty. Halloween Treaty? On Halloween night, Repugians are allowed to come through the Monster Gate to party with the humans. We have to go back before midnight, but we get to dance and load up on all the candy we want. Weird. Hi, Earl. Hi, kids. Long time no see. I haven't seen you since your last cleaning. So, everything is fine? You're okay with kids eating candy? Okay with it? I couldn't be happier. But... With everyone eating candy, business will be booming! <laughs> See, I was wondering if he was gonna figure that would be, you know. It's like, wait, but if kids ke keep eating candy and fucking up their teeth, think of all the money I can rake in. I don't... How did you... I mean... I'll catch you up later, Reynold. For tonight, just enjoy Halloween. Eat candy and party with your friends. Hello, children! Are you ready to try a piece of my special cherry pie? Mm, my favorite! I'll take a slice. Great! Then come back in half an hour. They are still cooling. I don't know about all these monsters. They smell like feet. I sure can groove. Britannian. Music fertilizes the soul. I'm really good at dancing. I just don't want to make everyone look bad. Robin Elder is over there pretending to be the King of Repugia. The nerve! Actually, it's fine. I just want to relax and eat candy. Oh shit, I actually missed one of the kids trespassing in the dental compound. I have one quest I didn't finish. I didn't notice that. Oh well. Oh my god, Heather? She texted me that Everett is like totally gonna put the moves on Lucy tonight. Okay. This block party is amazing! It totally justifies the wait. I'm actually really upset that I didn't finish that one quest. I think it was the only one left. Can you believe Monty let his gator sleep in the street with all the, these kids? I had to write him a ticket for that. It's safe now though. Officer Nichols won't let anything happen to you kids. Who serves a vegetable platter at a Halloween party? I mean seriously, the last thing anyone wants to eat is celery sticks. Is someone trying to inside a riot? It's just vegetables, you don't have to eat them. How can you be so cavalier about this? Everett and I are gonna check out Halley's Comet in my, tele in my telescope tonight. Wanna come? That explains where the name came from. At least common, huh? Yep, it only happens once every 75 years. But uh, we'll pass. You guys enjoy yourselves. Suit yourself. Sorry we couldn't wait for you any longer. We figured you would catch up to us here. Aren't you wearing your costumes? Lucy's gonna show me Haley's Comet later tonight. Costumes would get in the way. In the way of what? Oh, you know, stuff. Um, if she asks you to join us, do you mind not coming? I think I get it. Good luck, Everett. Yeah, I'll need it. I think I'm gonna barf. Do you say Everett? Nothing. Hey Sadie, got any cool battle stamps? Battle stamps? What are those? There's nothing to battle around here, unless you can't Travis. Nah, I just set up the sand without a business in mind, really. It'll come to me. Well, good luck. Hey, it's the musician dude. Harmonious Mink. I brought my sax out to help celebrate, but I guess nobody wants to hear some old fool honking around. We'd love to hear you, Mink. Kids are all right. Okay, try this on for size. Still got him, Mink. 
Thanks, man. Not bad for a, centeni a, cent a centenarian, huh? Wow, he's older than I thought. Let me join you. I like this house. Ah, Baron. Building Auburn Pines was my dream since I was a kid. Now it's a thriving community. It's time to get my next venture off the ground. What's that? I'm going to start a company to build hover cars. Why does no one want to bob for eyeballs? Blob doesn't understand humans. Auntie, you're here. I've always lived here. You knew that, right? Wait a minute. Can you jump out one of them time holes again? Maybe. Well, I guess you worked it all out then, huh? Dr. White never caused any trouble after you left him uh, after you left all them years ago. In fact, he's been a pretty cool guy. Can't say the same for Officer Nichols. Would you believe she put a parking ticket on my gator? Not paying that. Okay, well, see you around, I guess. Later, alligator. That trobog over there looks really familiar to me. You mean Blob? Yeah, the big fat one with the mustache. Which is a good place where I saw him before. I seem to recall that this dude was in the first game, and he must have been the, the, the canon kid in the past, so I feel like if I played these games closer together I would have picked up on more stuff. Alas, I have not. Hey look, it's Drusilla and her brother. Don't know where my brother gets his fashion sense. Look at him. Hello, children. Would you like me to tell you what the future holds? Uh, thanks, but no thanks. We're just happy to be in the present. Corvus? Stand back, human child. I am on security duty. Thanks for teaching us all those combat moves. You helped us save Halloween. Hmm? I don't even know you, human. Don't irritate me while I'm working. Back away. Okay, okay, I just wanted to say thanks. I'll let you do your duty. Sorry, kid. Shady is closed. Closed? When have you ever turned down business, Shady? Nobody is fighting anymore. Creepy treats went out of style. Gotta find a new product. How about candy? That never goes out of style. Hmm. You may be onto something there, kid. I like the skeleton. It's like he's been startled awake. That's good. I don't know what this line is for, but I don't want to miss out. Can't wait to check out Zack's book. It looks so rad. This big oaf is holding up the line. I want my copy of Invasion of the Candy Snatchers. You should check out this kid's book. It's hilarious. Invasion of the Candy Snatchers? What's this book all about? Zach Gorman. It's a graphic novel that questions the power dynamics inherent in human grubbin relationships. Re examines the invasion myth as seen through the eyes of the de disenfranchised Repugian youth. It's a comedy. Sounds hilarious. That monster seems to like it. I'm mildly confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Is that just it? Is this just the end of the game and I, I just stop now? Maybe I go home? I feel like I've talked to everybody. I've destroyed a goose.
Okay, I'm gonna look up to see if there's anything else here in the epilogue. I don't think so. But I may as well see. But if that is it, then huh, I finished it a bit sooner than I thought. Maybe I'll switch over to Honda PS1 and do a demo. Seeing as so I got a little bit more time. Okay, yeah. I think I think I just have to manually quit the game and that's it. Again, still really aggravated that I missed that one quest. I should have checked my quest log before I finished. I wonder where that last kid was. I mean, obviously I didn't finish everything anyway because I'm missing a few secrets and then a costume. Apparently there's an extra costume. Who knows? pretty good. I, I don't know if I like this as much as I like the first one. The first one seemed a bit more involved for some reason, but I could be wrong. Still fun, though. It's still still a fun time. And as far as Halloween themed games go, I mean, you know, you can't get much more Halloween than this. Okay, well, uh, like I said, I've got a little bit more time, and I don't really have anything else set up currently to go, though I do have more games I would like to try to stream before the end of the month. But uh, let's go to some more Honda PS1, see if I can get another demo under my belt.